Brownstone Woodhaven hosting Bedford for girls soccer MHSAA Division I district quarterfinals. First half, Woodhaven scores quickly. And they were on a roll early. Five minutes later, Bedford trying to even the score, but not going to happen here. Nikki May for Woodhaven, a hat trick in today's action. Still early in the first. Warriors running up the side. Quick pass over to Olivia Alexander, her team leading 19th goal of the year. Hey, Mules, great season, but they fall 6-0. First year head coach Eric Parcell says it's not all about the score. It's more about the growth of his team this year. You know, you know, we've got a really good group of girls, you know, freshmen through seniors. Um, it, it, they really they really uh, played well together throughout this year. Uh, you know, in the high school season, it's tough because you have such a such a busy, hard schedule. You're going every other day. Uh, so for those girls to come together and, and play like they did for most of the season, um, you know, we had letdowns like we did today. Uh, but uh, overall, I think they just they always fought. They always kept their always kept their head up. You know, the seniors really brought those the younger girls in. Um, and then when the seniors were down, the younger girls would boost them up. Uh, so overall, I just I'm real happy with the way the girls gelled this year. Um, we'd like a few of the games back, but uh, compared to where we were, I think we've we've, we've taken up some huge steps, and they should all be really proud of themselves. With more on this one, here are the guys who called it: Greg Frankie and Chris Black. Bedford's girls soccer team season ends in the first round of the districts, but certainly no shame in falling to a top 20 ranked Woodhaven team. They won six to nothing, and it was six. Really, really well executed goals that I don't think anybody could have stopped, really. Yeah, and differentiation in all the goals. So if you would have stopped one, congratulations. There's five different types of goals they're going to score. So it, it, it was fun to watch from that, that standpoint. But, yeah, they were difficult to defend against. Bedford hung in for a while, but you can only absorb so much. I think the main thing when you play a game like this, if you're a Bedford team that's very young, three of their top players are freshmen, and they have a number of sophomores and juniors that you're a young team, and you try to take something positive out of the game, and there's certainly a lot of material there. They had a very strong team they were playing. Yeah, and a first-year head coach, too, with uh, Eric Parcel, which he, he obviously, he's got to learn some things on the fly, and, and all his young kids are learning as the season goes on. But, yeah, there's there's some a learning curve. We get on field turf in the heat against a team as dynamic as Woodhaven uh, was today, that's for sure. But a uh, great building block for his second year and all those young kids coming back next year. One of the nice things about going up to Michigan for these tournament games is you see some really outstanding displays and we saw that today from a Woodhaven team that could be a threat going forward in this Michigan State tournament. Bedford season ends with a 6-0 defeat to Woodhaven.